my lovelies i hope you're all well so today we're going to look at how you can bring in svgs to design space on the ios app so that's your uh ipad or your iphone i had a mental block then it just kind of yeah the brain went but yes that's what we're doing we're going to bring in an svg now an svg is a multi-layered image you can see here, if we go down my layers panel, like we have got layers, we've got lots of layers. So it means that it's going to bring it in um, with all your color layers. You can change the colors, you can change the image easily. Like it's super simple. So whereas JPEG and PNG are flat one layer images, an SVG is like 3D and it's got lots of layers. It's like that's that's the difference is really it is what it is i mean i don't know how else to describe them but svgs are fantastic they're very easy to work with now with an svg you have to download it onto your files you can't put it onto your photo reel because your photo reel will only allow you to bring in one dimensional images so jpegs or pngs so you have to bring it in as a file so I've got my SVG here. I'm going to select download, nice and simple. It's going to ask me, do I want to download it? I'm going to say download. And you'll see that we've got a circle with an arrow. That is our download button. We're going to click on that and we can then open up where it says no. You'll see that it actually is a zip file. So gnome 23658152 zip so you have to click on the file to actually unzip it and once you unzip it you then get an actual file and in this one we've got a png and then we've got an svg and the best way to tell which one is which is most of the time the PNGs will be an image and the SVGs will be this square with another square or a rectangle with another rectangle. But both of these look the same. So the easiest way is just to click on it and hold down with your finger and then select get info. And it will tell me that the second one is the SVG. So I'm going to come back in design space. I'm going to go to upload browse files it's going to open up my iCloud drive because that's where it saves them that's my files so it's going to I'm going to click on the gnome folder and then I'm going to click the second one because I know that's the SVG and because it's an SVG I can't there's nothing for me to do I don't need to remove the background I don't need to do any of that that I do with a JPEG or PNG all I need to do is give it an image name so let's call it gnome love and then save and it will bring it in it will always bring SVGs in as cut files you can change them to print and cut in the canvas though we can then select save We can select the image and insert to our canvas. And then you can see down our layers panel, all of our beautiful colored layers. And that's how you bring an SVG into design space using your iPad or your iPhone. If you've got any comments or questions, please do ask them in the comments below. If you're watching the premiere, then come and join the live chat. I'm I'm in there. I mean, it's nearly finished now, but I was in there. I need to say this at the start rather than at the end. I need to do that. I need to say at the start, come join me in the live chat if you're joining me Monday, Wednesday or Friday at 7pm. Not at the end. But anyway, if you've got any questions, ask them in the uh, comments below. Please do subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's free to do and it's really helpful. And thank you very much for supporting me. As always, thanks for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.